What's up all my devil dogs? It's your boy Sean Ali, Strength Course Iron Five Star General. This is gonna be a little quick vlog. A lot of people have actually been requesting this vlog. Y'all wanna see um, one, a low carb day. So I'm actually carb cycling at the moment and this is one of my low carb days or it's kind of an off day from the gym for me and I'm only getting 100 grams of carbs. And people are like, dang, like how do you do that and stay full? How do you do that and not get miserable? So I'm gonna show you my meals throughout the day. Um, and also just show you what a typical day looks like for me, except it's not really typical. I actually have an orientation to go to at work. So it's gonna be a little bit of an interesting day. That's why I decided to vlog today. I'm not editing that out. We keep it real on here. I had to sneeze, real people sneeze. So I'm gonna just show you what I'm working with. I always start my day off with a big glass of water, man. So I just down this whole thing. About to do that, and then let me show you what else I got working with over here. All right, I got me a cup of green tea, really good for fat burning, good for antioxidants, all that good stuff. I got me one serving of oatmeal right here, and then I got what is it, three servings of egg whites, one turkey bacon, and two regular bacon. So I'll put the macros on the screen for y'all. This is my breakfast right here, including the big glass of water. There's my gallon of water right there. I got my lunch over there, ready to be, uh, you know, taken to work right here. Got me a couple scoops of protein right there. Got my little Tupperware, I'm ready to go. So without further ado, let me eat this so I'm not late to my orientation. Let's go. All right, guys, so I just finished my meeting at work, my new hire orientation or whatever. Um, just got a little promotion at work, so that's cool. I'm actually in the locker room at the gym that we have here at my job. It is a health insurance company, so they try and keep it pretty healthy. I'm about to get changed up and do a little cardio, about 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna go ahead. They gave us a free meal or whatever, but y'all know I'm counting macros and it's a low carb day, so I can't be just having whatever and trying to account for it. I'm trying to save more of my carbs for later in the day, and I don't even have that many to play with, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this cardio. The quality probably is going to go down for the next couple of clips because I'm not going to bring out my big camera while I'm working so I'll probably use my cell phone but I'm still bringing y'all through the day um I did miss one meal that I had it was just a protein shake that I usually have with some coffee in there I'll put the macros below for that and then I'll also show you my lunch and put the macros for that too so stay tuned having fun just giving y'all a quick look at how my days usually go so let's hit this cardio yeah, man, just a little quick look at the progress, man. Coming along, leaning out a little bit, man. Looking pretty good, not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? This little carb cycling I've been doing has been helping, man. It's it's really bringing me along. I can definitely see the cuts coming in, the things coming in. I'm looking pretty good, man. Abs coming in. I'm looking YouTube ready, man. Looking YouTube ready. Looking, look at the, ah! Look at this, and I'm still 215, man. Y'all ain't even seen me at my best, man. Man, let me go hit this cardio. <laughs> Y'all wanna know something crazy? I actually, <laughs> that last clip you just saw, I literally went back to, um, <laughs> I went back to the treadmill to get that because I finished and I didn't remember. Sorry, I had to cut that short. Somebody walked in and it's always weird being in the, uh, <laughs> being in the locker room and somebody walks in. You never want that, you know what I mean? So anyways, like I said, I had to re like get back on the treadmill just to get you guys a little clip of that, but I'm about to go eat my lunch right now. Looking pretty good. I can't really angle this. I'm trying to get, <sighs> looking decent, man. Got a little pump going. I'm gonna go ahead and um, go get my food and show you all that, show you all the macros and then go to my desk. I got some stuff I got to do. Nice building or whatever. 
But uh, again, I'm not really into the whole working at corporate or whatever. But I do what I gotta do. But uh, anyways, I'm about to actually head um, home real quick. I'm supposed to be eating another meal when I get home. Um, that pure protein bar I had with that protein shake has got me pretty full right now. I'm not gonna lie. And quite honestly, with my cars being only 100 grams, I'm surprised that I'm actually um, not hungry right now. I'm actually very very satiated i'm not gonna lie like i don't feel hungry at all and i'm supposed to have a meal when i get home so i'm liking this right now man these hundred i thought these hundred uh, grams of carb days are gonna be hard but it hasn't been too hard maybe it's because it's my first one or maybe it's just i don't know the discipline or whatever maybe i'm just not feeling it yet but not too shabby man so that's what's up i'm gonna head home um hopefully there's not a bunch of traffic and i'm gonna go ahead and uh, show y'all my next meal man this is my day man my days are typically kind of boring but you know it is what it is i mean some of y'all wanted to see so here it is all right see y'all when i get home all right so before i go ahead and eat anything I'm actually going to the mailbox right now to check to see if my debit card came in the mail. If y'all didn't know already, I lost my wallet for like five days and then they actually reported it. Um, they called and said, oh, it's at the, the security gate in the front. So I went and got it, had all my stuff in there. Luckily, I didn't have to go to the DMV because in South Florida, the DMV is the one place you want to avoid because it's simply just it's literally hell on earth. I mean, you're literally there for hours, even if you have an appointment. So I did that, but I had already canceled my card and ordered a new one. And it usually takes seven to 10 days. I'm hoping this is like day six. So it's really not supposed to be here, but let's check and see. Nope, wrong key. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, there's some mail in here. Let's see if anything, let's see. Well, there's some mail right here. There's a couple of things for me. One's from Amazon Prime, one's from my job, and one is an unknown one. So I'm hoping that this unknown one is gonna actually be my debit card so I can actually start living life again and start having to borrow money. I literally had to borrow money from my parents to pay for gas, and to go do stuff because I don't have access to my cash and the bank that I go to closes while I'm at work. It opens while I'm starting work and it closes while I'm still working. So, and I don't have that day off yet. So I'm hoping one of these is gonna be it. Let's see. I'm alive again. My debit card came in the mail. I can finally start purchasing stuff again i can go buy gas now i can start borrowing money now i can actually do things now so this is this is great this is awesome and on top of that uh, i didn't tell you guys but pretty much my um my beats headphones they stopped connecting or whatever to my phone so they i called up apple services apple care whatever and they actually sent me a box i sent that box out and literally like they got they sent the box they got here in like a day or two i sent the box back it got there in like a day and then they're sending it back next day air so literally they got it today and they're shipping out a new pair that is supposed to arrive tomorrow so like that's awesome that's awesome customer service you can't ask for anything better than that so i'm pretty excited i'm happy that i got my debit card now got my headphones coming back my life is starting to get back to normal all right, anyways, I got this meal I'm gonna make real quick, show y'all it, show y'all the macros. I'm gonna chill for a little bit, then I'm actually going to yoga with Sasha. Um, I try and go on Tuesdays when it's like my off day or whatever, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not a biggest fan of yoga, but I do it sometimes. All right, so I'll show y'all my meal in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm finally finished cooking. Let me go ahead and show y'all what I'm eating. Now you're gonna think, hmm, this looks very similar, right, to what I had this morning. Check it out. I've got right here three servings of egg whites, 
two pieces of regular bacon, one turkey bacon, and one packet of oatmeal. The only difference is I added in one whole egg to get some fats in because I really want this meal to kind of last me a little bit before my last one before bed. Okay. So I'll put the macros for that below. It should have already been on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I'm gonna try and head to the gym a little bit early to see if I can sneak in a quick 30 minute ab routine before yoga starts. Cause it's Tuesday and I'm supposed to hit abs today. I hit cardio at work like you guys saw, but I wasn't able to hit abs, which usually I do on my off days. Cardio for me is usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But since yesterday was 4th of July, I didn't do my cardio yesterday. I did it today. I was supposed to do abs today, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do cardio again tomorrow, not do it Thursday and do abs Thursday and get back on track basically. So I haven't, I don't think, told you guys what my final macros would be. I'm gonna put it on the screen at the end of the video so you can see what my macros are. And I'm gonna have a separate video explaining why my macros have changed and actually give you guys a tip on setting your own macros. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat so I can head over to this gym. Let's go. Here, can y'all believe that, man? I'm here watching some uh, some ESPN footage about Kevin Durant. I mean, going to the Warriors. I'm not gonna lie. I agree with Stephen A. Smith. Uh, Stephen A. Smith. Literally the weakest move from a superstar I've ever seen. Literally to go from a team that's literally a contender, and literally you're up three-one against that team. You lose to that team because you flopped in three straight games and you decide to leave that city to go join that team that doesn't even need you, that just had the best regular season in history, that literally was one Draymond Green suspension away from probably winning the title. Honestly, even if he wins the title, I'm like Stephen A. He's not a champion. He just has a ring. There's a difference. But anyways, I digress, man. I'm going to finish watching this and eating and go to the gym. All right, y'all. I'm up in the gym, man. Actually ran into Ty right here. You already know. Nate's over there. He in here doing his pull day. Oh, what's up? I'm about to just hit some quick abs real quick before I go ahead and um, hit this yoga class. So I'm just get y'all a couple of clips of that. So, I'm in yoga, it's all your fault. I would never do this, but it's my off day, and I have no choice. I mean, I have a choice, but not really. You know what, I, fellas, if you got a girl, you know what I mean. You have a choice, but you really don't, you don't really have a choice. Like, you have a choice while she's secretly holding a knife to the back of your neck. But um, anyways, about to hit this yoga, try and ease my mind. And then I got one more meal left to show you guys. Probably gotta hit up the grocery store real quick. Might bring y'all along, might not. Stay tuned and find out. All right, y'all. Just finished taking yoga. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't so bad today. One, because I actually like the instructor who did today, Rocky, she's awesome. I don't even like yoga, but she makes it at least kind of enjoyable. But, I'm still not a huge fan of yoga, but if it's Rocky teaching, I can I can deal with it. What up, bro? So, anyways, man, I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to go to the grocery store. I guess I'll bring y'all with me. So stay tuned. I'll see y'all in a little bit. She's talking about some. She want ice cream. I said, oh, okay. Should we go down the ice cream aisle? She like, you're supposed to be encouraging. <laughs> what is up with these these cat? What is it? Catch 22s. Um, well, what do they call man? They trick questions, catch 22s, whatever they're called, man. But anyways, I'm up in Wally World, about to get me some egg whites. And I feel like I need one more thing, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, so. What? Uh, I don't want to come back tomorrow either, so I'm going to just try and remember what it is. All right, cheer. Not this. Get that great value, because great value is a great value. You already know. Guess where I'm at again? The motherfucking gas station, man. I'm always here pumping gas, man. Just wasting my money. You see this shit? Biggest waste of money ever, but gotta get to work, gotta get to the gym, gotta get places, gotta take my girl out on dates. So, gotta put gas in the car, man, but just 
Just one of those things in life you have to pay for. Okay, so before I start my dinner, I only got a little tiny bit of water left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just down this real quick. Hit my gallon of water right there. <laughs> Probably gonna be peeing the next couple hours before bed, but it's all good. Got my gallon in and that's all that matters. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm making my food. I'm gonna show y'all my final meal and then I'm gonna end the video. All right, here we go. So I've got some ground beef with some beans. This chili beans, there's kidney beans. Oh, the camera's fogging up. Chili beans, kidney beans, and pinto beans. And I'm going to throw in about half a bag of this romaine lettuce. I do not count greens. Greens are not counted towards my carbs, man. They're basically a free food. And I don't use that much to where I'm going to worry about the two or three grams of carbs from greens. So this is to keep me full and satiated. So I'm going to add that to this real quick. There it is, my last meal. And I'm going to have a little bit of this gold peak diet tea zero calories of course and very little caffeine 15 milligrams man i'm not gonna worry about that i try to really not get a lot of caffeine before bed but 15 milligrams is not gonna do much okay we're not talking about i'm having coffee or something super or pre-workout like some people have pre-workouts like two hours before bed like i can't do that it keeps me up so i'm gonna have that last meal so here's my total macros for the entire day 270 protein 70 fat and 100 grams of carbs now i know you're gonna be like oh my god that protein intake is ridiculous well i'm upping my protein really because protein has a higher thermogenic effect than carbs or fats by a lot by a large margin so by consuming more protein um yes it's gonna hurt my pockets a little because protein is not cheap but it's gonna allow my body to burn more calories digesting the food because protein is very energy expensive in terms of breaking it down processing it whatever so and i've had very good success in the past using high protein diets while i'm or, or dieting or whatever so that's my thing you might think it's too much but hey man i'm doing my thing you do your thing and we all get our results at the end of the day. I felt full today. I didn't feel hungry. And a lot of people are like, 100 grams of carbs. Oh my God. Like, I didn't feel like that at all. I felt good. I felt full. I was energized. You see, I hit yoga. I hit some abs. I was energetic. I worked today. I didn't feel tired. I didn't even get that much sleep last night. And I still felt pretty good. So, it's all a mental thing, man. People just have this thing in their mind like, Oh, I'm getting 100 grams of carbs. Like, oh my God, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to have no energy. Like, it's not like that. It's just, you have to change up your foods. Find ways to stay full. Like me, I just get my gallon of water in. Um, if I really want to chew on something, I'll chew on some calorie-free gum or sugar-free gum or whatever. Um, I just keep a lot of greens in my diet, which I don't count. I don't count my greens to help me stay full. Stuff like that, just little tips you can take along the way. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. It's just a quick vlog for you guys to see what a typical day looks like for me while I'm low carb dieting. So um, on a low carb day, you guys have seen my carbs be pretty high, usually on the weekends or whatever. But I decided to give y'all a low carb day. This is how I am a couple times a week with having to work and still fit in my diet and do everything I have to do. So you can do it, man. You just gotta put your mind to it, whether you're you know working for yourself or you work for a company or you got to work a nine to five doesn't matter you got to put in the work there's no excuses i'm not making any plenty of people out there aren't making any there's no reason that you should have to make any don't forget the orders subscribe and share like and comment till next time my devil dogs dismissed uh but today was a very very difficult day for me um I literally felt like the most amount of, I guess, demotivation, if that's a word.